We are back with another review, and today we are checking out these coconut flavored Hornet papers to follow up and round out our 15 days of Hornet reviews. We have two left, and this being one of them. So, without further ado, top right into the review. So, we got the nice stock photo of some coconuts split open on the front. We got a nice little brown splash where it says coconut natural gum, which we know it's not. We got king size, is the size of the paper. We got Hornet Danger on the front and on the back. We also have flavored rolling papers on the back as well. We got finest quality papers, which we know they're not. We got 32 flavored rolling papers and then 32 leaves on the end caps. So let's check out the inside of the pack here. We got the paper made in the EU. No designs on the inner side of the pack, inner lip. We have a tissue box style with some stock photos of more coconuts. And then we have the papers themselves, which actually, to be honest with you, this is probably the best design yet that Hornet has put out on a paper. Look at the detail of the skin of those coconuts. Look at the inside, the meat of those coconuts. That is some nice printing on this particular paper. But what do we have? We got the print error. There is the stripe right down the middle. I mean, look at the quality they put into this. And you still have these print errors. Here we are again. Another print error down the middle. How many are we going down? We got a print error right here on the side. Look at that on the border print error right there. I mean, just for consistency, this shouldn't be happening. And here we are, no print error. What number are we on? We're on number five. So basically the, the pattern that I'm running into on these papers is the first four or five papers are gonna be, they're gonna have errors on them. But once you get past the first four or five papers, you start running into pages that start having these hash, ma hash marks on the top, which are basically the printer hash marks. So you got all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can see right here, I don't need to keep pulling them out, but you got these hash marks now, which I noticed as well. You got such a real nice design like this and they can't seem to get it printed properly. So that is a real nice design. The flavor of coconut was extremely mild, just like every single other flavor that we reviewed on this list. The only one that was kind of zesty was the lemon. I believe that was probably the only one that really piqued my interest in regards to the flavor, but it was mild as well. All these have been mild, which is probably the worst selling point when you're trying to sell flavored papers is that the flavor is non-existent to extremely mild. Um, Juicy J's are nice. They're not overpowering. They're right in, they're right in that right sweet spot. Probably wouldn't have dropped these papers to at least you just did some kind of product research on these to see what kind of level of flavoring people like, customers are going to like before you start dropping these papers. And get your printers right too, which is even more insane. The ink on the, the ink on this, we don't even know if it's soy ink. I mean, I don't know why you'd, you'd cut corners on stuff like that. You might as well go all the way when you're going to rip off somebody's design. When you're going to rip off Juicy J like they clearly did with these lines of papers, um, you should at least copy all the way and just copy the technology and everything else they put into these papers because they're doing it the right way. You got the vertical striping technology, which does help it from stop running and um, burning unevenly. But then you, again, you got the gum strip over here, which is going to leave a lingering taste like you licked a bunch of envelopes in your mouth. I know it's redundant to hear the same thing over and over again, but when you got the same papers that do the same nonsense every single pack, I mean, it's almost like, what are they doing? Like, what are they doing with these things? I don't, I mean, look at that design. That's a legit design. You don't even see high, high, design, high quality designs like that on the GCJ papers, but they just executed it wrong. Of course, as usual, ask Hornet. Leave it to Hornet for <laughs> bad execution of product. Um, so if you try to use coconut flavored papers, let us know in the comments below. If you like Hornet papers, let us know in the comments below as well. If you tried some that you actually like, let us know down there. So uh, for more content like this, subscribe for more. We do smoking reviews every single Monday. So be on the lookout for that and have a great rest of your day.